Okay, if you've been following along, you'll know that we've already made 580 flywheel horsepower about uh, by pulling 437 rear wheel horsepower on a dyno through the power glide. So once you can figure out the losses, which we have a good idea of because we know the duty cycle of the fuel injectors and the fuel consumption, we can make a pretty good guess. But anyway, I digress. So we did that all on two PSI. So what can we do next? Well, there's actually a lot we can do next. As you can see, there's a lot of shiny stuff here. Uh, let's start with the uh, basics. So one of the issues with this 365, actually it's 365 cubic inch V8, is that it's still using a 75 millimeter throttle body. Now it's not the stock size, but that is the size on the original tr trick flow street intake is, is the maximum size. Now you can go bigger, but you start running into the EGR passage at the bottom. So, you know, I figured, well, you know, I can port it out. And then if I get an adapter flange like this, well, this one's actually cut for 75, but I'll have to port it by hand to port match it. And this is uh, the mount for the throttle bracket. The EGR bump would be right here at the bottom, which would put it actually just like this, which would put it in line with the shaft. So it wouldn't have that much of uh, the throttle blade shaft. It wouldn't have that much of an impact on flow overall. So that most likely is the way it's going to go. So I went online and Brian, you know, from the last video was like, dude, just go on eBay and buy a used one. And I happened to find this one, which isn't used, but it's new, but it's some guy had it kicking around in a box and he sold it for 50 bucks off. So I'm like, yeah, I'll buy it. And uh, I thought it was an 85 millimeter. That's what he advertised it as, but it's really a 90. So this thing is like right up there with you uh, six liter LS guys. I think you guys use a 92 millimeter throttle body. We know the 75 is a restriction because we saw it in, you know, in the, just even the street pulls, we weren't even seeing atmospheric pressure. So there was a vacuum behind the throttle body. So we know that's a restriction. So this lovely work of gigantic art, um, is going to go on there. We'll have to port the upper to, ma to uh, match and it should be worth roughly, I'm going to say at least 10 horsepower. I know a guy who actually did this with uh, box R intake. He went from a 75 to a 90, picked up 14 rural horsepower through an AOD, but let's call it 10. Let's just say 10. So the more power we can make naturally aspirated, the more power we're going to make with boost. So that's the cool shiny stuff out of the way. Now let's look at the real secret sauce. How many times have you heard me talk? You can ignore that. How many times have you heard me talk about how much I wanted an SI impeller? Quite a few, if you've seen any of the other videos. Well, ladies and gents, here we are. I talked with uh, John at John Bond Performance, and uh, you know we we're going to do this whole series of tests uh, with different impellers, both cast and uh, billet impellers. And knowing that, that my sort of gold standard would be a billet SI impeller. Um, and, uh, you know, it was going to do all these different tests, like I said. But then what happened with my dad happened and that kind of threw a wrench in it. So I figured we would just go right for the gold standard. So that's what we have here. We have an SI volute um, or volute, if you choose. Uh, this one is a blem from, from John. It was one that was actually touched down and they smoothed it out in here uh, because apparently when an impeller wheel touches down, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage here. But what it does do is it like kind of attaches itself or friction welds itself to the surface. So they buffed it out. Uh, it assures me it doesn't really change the geometry uh, and uh, really won't make any difference. And plus, you know, the price was right. So hey, we jumped on it. So all this, because the rest of the blower just will bolt right on, all of this, of course, is needed in order to have this little piece of magic, well, work its magic. Let's see if I can open it. I don't think I opened it from that side. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Check this beauty out. That, my friends, is a work of art. So this is the Billet SI impeller uh, that John sells. And it is worth uh, something like 15% additional flow at the same RPM, which is exactly what we need. Um, and because it's billet, it's, it's lightweight. Let's see, even picking this thing up is a little tricky. It's lightweight, it's not really, here you go. Let's see if I can get that reflection from 
not ruining things right there. So there you go. So uh, this is John's SI Impeller. It's good for a lot more RPM than the stock. It's literally carved out of a, a chunk of solid aluminum. And it has these uh, patented <laughs> flared fins. This is not, you know, I paid for this thing. This is not a, a sales pitch. I just think this thing is actually really cool. And it's exactly what we've been looking for. Now, this impeller should be one-tenth of an inch, one one-hundred-thousandth wider in diameter than the one that's in there, which is why we needed this of volute or volute. Um, and this should put us, this has a much more favorable compressor map. If you go back to the compressor map video I, I put up before, I mean, this is, this is the bee's knees. This is exactly what we needed to make that car really sing. So now we've got that. There's one other thing that I did is I, I gone done it. I went and uh, ordered the largest uh, TP power motor they have. While well, you're asking me now, why didn't you do that before? Well, before uh, I used as my criteria both the max uh, wattage available, which is 15,000 in both of these series of motors, um, but the other one had a lower running power rating of 7500 but it doesn't matter because we're just interested in the burst and the motor is a little bit shallower but the advantage of it is that it had a 50,000 rpm cap and these blowers like to run up to and in many cases over 50,000 rpm so we didn't know where we would end up uh, rpm wise so i figured i'd be greedy and go for the whole map but if we go to the next size up the motor becomes about 10 centimeters longer uh the kv meaning the rpm per volt drops and therefore it makes more torque so the bigger ones are capped at 40,000 rpm but since we really weren't seeing more than say i'd say about 28 to 30,000 rpm on the other impeller and you know we'll be lucky to hit it with this even though this impeller is about i believe an ounce lighter than the the cast sc impeller even though that that impeller has the clipped fins in fact we can take a look at one from my other video uh, yeah, so this should be a big, big improvement, especially with a torqueier motor. Then we can still play with timing on that as well. So there's a lot more power to be had. There's a lot more fun. Um, you know, we're going to start installing this stuff, and there's a few other toys coming as well. So definitely you want to stay tuned to this because I, I have a feeling we're going to end up somewhere between, you know, on the low end, 650, on the high end, 750 uh, at the flywheel. So we're talking roughly 5 to 550 at the rear wheels. Which, if we get to 550, I know that makes this a nine second car. So then we're gonna take it to the track. So, anyway, stay tuned and subscribe. 984, 984, 840 miles an hour.